Surf. Learning to surf on a longboard. Learning to surf is a great summer activity if you and hashtag 39, re going to be spending some time at the beach. It gets you outside and in the water, and you feel triumphant when you finally stand up on your board and ride across the ocean, even if it end hashtag 39. S just for a few seconds. If you end hashtag 39, re a patient person, and enjoy being out in the sun and the water anyway, learning to surf will be a cathartic summer sport that lets you be as intense or mellow as you wish. If you end hashtag 39, re-opting out of surfing lessons, or just want to be ahead of the game, then you should know the basics. Get a long board. The bigger the board, the more surface area. That means that it and hashtag 39, s easier to balance on a bigger board, the board is more likely to get caught by a wave and the board is more buoyant. Your long board should be at least 9 and hashtag 39, long if you and hashtag 39, re just starting out. You can always rent surfboards from shops near the beach and sometimes, on busy summer days, you can even rent boards right on the beach. If you end hashtag 39, recommitted to learning and want to buy a board, check out sites like craigslist.com, where you can meet up with sellers in your area and see the board before agreeing to buy it. You and hashtag 39, LL also find new and used boards at local surf shops and bigger retail stores. Find a beach. Don and hashtag 39, T head to pipeline on your first day. Pick a beach with a gradual drop off and small waves. 3 and hashtag 39, 4 and hashtag 39, waves are ideal for beginners. You want to be comfortable in the water and be in control at all times, or at least most of the time. Smaller waves are typically easier to read as well. Look for slow-moving, fat, mushy waves until you get the hang of surfing. Practice on the sand. You may feel silly, but lay your board down on the sand and practice popping up a few times. Lay on the board, belly down, pretend to paddle, then grab the sides of the board, rails, and push yourself into a standing position. Your feet should be a little wider than shoulder width apart, with one foot in front of the other, think skateboard or snowboard. You should be in the middle of the board, so your weight is evenly distributed. Practice until you can push yourself from lying down into a balanced, standing position in one quick motion. You one and hashtag 39, 
t be able to take your time when you end hashtag 39, retrying to ride a wave. Paddle out and wait. Now that you end hashtag 39, re-comfortable popping into a standing position, it end hashtag 39, s time to try it in the water, on a wave. First you end hashtag 39, ll have to paddle yourself out past the break. Typically you should sit 10 and hashtag 39, 15 and hashtag 39, beyond where the waves are breaking. Look around to see where the other surfers are waiting. Don and hashtag 39, T paddle up next to anyone. Surfers done and hashtag 39, T like that, but use other surfers as a guideline to determine where you should be. Once you end hashtag 39, re in the right location, sit up on your board. You should have one leg on either side of the board. With a long board, it should be relatively easy to balance if you end hashtag 39, recentered. Find the perfect wave, or one that looks manageable. You end hashtag 39, ll need to face the swell and look back over you shoulder to see the waves heading your way. If you see a wave that looks good and is forming 3 and hashtag 39, 5 and hashtag 39, from where you end hashtag 39, resitting, lie down on your board and start paddling towards shore. Catch the wave. As you end hashtag 39, re-paddling and the wave approaches you, you end hashtag 39, ll feel the water beneath you swell. Ideally, you end hashtag 39, ll want to catch the wave right before it breaks. It end hashtag 39, s better to miss the wave off the back than to have it break on top of you, so timing is important. If you end hashtag 39, re not used to timing waves, this can be the most difficult part of surfing. It just takes practice. You end hashtag 39, ll feel the wave pull you down and forward when you end hashtag 39, ve caught it. The wave will continue propelling you towards shore. Pop up. Once you end hashtag 39, VE caught a wave you and hashtag 39, LL have to pop up immediately. This is where all that practice on the beach comes in. Grab your well waxed rails, the sides of your board, and swing slash jump your legs forward into position as you do a push up to get your upper body off the board. Then stand up. Keep your knees bent to help you remain balanced. If you end hashtag 39, re too far forward or back on the board, you may go for a swim. 
stay balanced. Once you end hashtag 39, restanding, keep your knees bent and spread your arms out wide. Use the wax on the top of your board to keep yourself stable by gripping it with your toes. The lower you are, the better your balance will be. Ride the waves. Now that you know the basics at end hashtag 39, it's time to get aboard, get to the beach and start practicing. Keep at it. The first time you catch a wave you end hashtag 39, LLB walking on air or water. Paddle, pop up, repeat.